agency. 12 realtors in the high stakes competitive world of real estate. Two realtors face off against their demanding builders. You asked me what she said, so I'm telling you. Rob, it's Joanna. Call me immediately. Plus, can this agent help her client design a custom home that will sell? This is the uh, piece de resistance of the house. And then, of course, there's a man room around the corner. A man room? Yes. We need to figure out how to make people more interested in your house. And how much is this client willing to sacrifice to sell her home? So are you happy with this option? <sighs> This home we're about to list in about two to three weeks. We're hoping that all the finishing touches will be done. It's a new construction, six slash seven bedroom home that one of our team of builders has constructed. We will be listing this home for 2949. The builders are friends of ours. One of them started out as a friend. The others have become friends. It's definitely a business that we've been building with them for many years. Let's go in, see what your dates are, but everything else is All right, let's do it. Okay. All right. Joanna and I specialize in new construction. We've grown into luxury realtors. The price ranges of the homes that we sell are usually upwards of a million dollars. I just want to get your guys' feedback. I wanted to make sure it was like a bright, airy space. The ceiling came out really neat. I really like it. Jody and Joanna are by far the best handling new construction. I can't imagine there's someone more versed. I see the other agents throughout the market area dabbling in it, but none of them do the extent that they do and with different builders. So they get the sense of a lot of different styles and abilities. It's worked out really well for them. This is the backsplash, oh, so, it, it. so it ties all this stuff in together, I think. Is it all this consistent light, light color, though? Is it too light for all the light cabinetry? No, it's going to work. It's going to tie in because of this oh, right here. Oh, because you want the whole bright, right? Right. I want it to be a bright space. It's going to be pretty. Yeah, it's just not, not what you usually see, the light. Right. That's why I think it's nice. Right. It's always insanity. We had a meeting yesterday, and we decided when we wanted to have the grand opening. Five seconds after the meeting, I'm on the phone with the granite guy. I was like, you have to speed up the granite. You know, I need a backsplash quicker. You got to get plumbing supplies in. So everything's rolling quickly. And I love the shower, you know what I mean? The shower's very cool. It's a classic, and it's never going to go out of style, but it's got a very hip design. The rain shower? It's got all the multiple heads. Normally, I would freak on you for not using a totally frameless shower door, but it looks good in here like that. You know, all these decisions, it sounds ridiculous, but we scrutinize every single one of these. Yeah, it works in here. All of these projects tend to be financed, and that puts pressure on the builders, which in turn, the longer it sits on the market, people start to question what's wrong with this house. Why isn't it selling? So you want to make sure that you price it correctly and get it sold within the first month. It's going to be fun. Absolutely. Holly lives in Upper Montclair, New Jersey, and she always wanted to build a house on the plot of land that she has next door to her own house. Her family is getting older, her kids are away at college, and she decided she would build to suit. She would put a sign up in the front yard, she would get a design, and she would build a house for someone else. I'm showing her properties just as a little bit of a contrast to what she might build. I want her to be able to see what other builders are thinking because I really feel sometimes creative people go into projects and they don't even look around. They just have their idea. This is such a beautiful house. I've known Holly for about 10 years. I met her when we both worked for the same real estate brokerage and I thought she was a hoot. She's a great colleague to have and through the years we've bounced ideas off each other. So this is the living room. We talked about having a porch <clears throat> of some sort on the back of the house you build. Right. I In this case, they, they've made it an all-year-round one. Exactly. So screen point. Exactly. Right. Roberta has a huge energy, a vibrance. I think she has a great right. knack and eye for the market. But let's go to the heart of the house here. She knows what's going to sell without wasting anybody's time. Very clean, long view here. It's a great look. Pretty dramatic for Montclair. Mm -hmm. As you can see, they use a dark look here. And that seems to be very popular these days. The light country look is maybe a little less popular than it was before. Right. Well, it seems to be either white or the, uh, exactly. the dark dark. I think this is the uh, piece de resistance of the house, the bathroom elements. Every bedroom has a bathroom. Oh, yeah. And it's the subway the, tile. Subway tile in a different color. Mm -hmm. Not the largest master, but very, very warm. How much more space well, do you I'm need? Well, I'm saying. Let me show you the prettiest room of all. The art room. The art room. The art gallery. And then, of course, there's a man room around the corner. 
A man room. Yes. You, not the shop, but. No, I would say um, probably. You're not familiar with that phrase? No, I'm not. It's, it's very common in real estate these days. Talk Keep about the patio. Exactly. Talk about the game right out on the. Uh, with no TV. The terrace. Yeah. Elevator. Up My to elevator. The observation deck up on the fourth level, which is very beautiful. It's a very nice elevator. Imagine that has to add $70,000 to the cost of the house. Uh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> okay. But this is the piece de resistance of this floor. Oh, there's the view. Uh, hey. You can see Manhattan. It's um, contemplative space, I think. That's what they were looking for. We Don't need the think? elevator so you can bring well, the cocktails up. And, uh, but there's, a, there's an <laughs> escape hatch there if you had to get out. Well, that goes down to the, the other level. There's a design solution that somebody had to come up with. Master bedroom. Last call. Man's room. Yeah. It was a great example to take a look at today. It has a great flow. A and great we, got, we got to the, um, the heart of the matter here, which yeah. was picking, her, you know, pick, picking and choosing correctly to make your house a winner. Now to the magazine ripping out of pages stage, right? <laughs> well, they actually have all the details here. I should have yeah. just brought the camera. And... Exactly. <laughs> Today we're on our way to go see Jackie. We have listed her property about two weeks ago and we are about to talk about how we need to remarket her house and do a new price range to attract more buyers. Jackie House is a colonial. It has seven bedrooms and four full baths. The kitchen is renovated with granite countertop stainless steel appliances. Most of the bathrooms are updated with either ceramic tiles or marble. The living room has a huge fireplace and has coffin ceiling. The dining room, it could easily sit 10. She has a master suite that has a huge dressing room. So it's really a good size house for a family. Come in. Hi, oh, Jackie. Hi. Thank you for meeting with me today oh, again. Of course. We need to discuss how to remarket your property. We had a really low turnout for an open house. Mm -hmm. We need to figure out how to make people more interested in your house. We need to do a price improvement probably about between thirty to forty thousand dollars. Okay, and that would put the price where? We'll put the price between five sixty-nine or five ninety-nine. Have there been any to sell in that price range? You have currently two property under contract. Here, mm -hmm. number one. This one is the same exact size as yours. Originally priced at much higher, and now it's at that price. Good so, gracious! Yeah. So you know, hopefully, at the price that we're doing, we'll bring in more buyers, it would be probably better for us to make it a new number. Wow. Coming up, will Simon's client agree to his pricing strategy? Pricing it right definitely helps you sell the house. And will a slow open house jeopardize Jody and Joanna's chance to find a buyer? So at this moment, I'm not showing buyers at this level. I'm wondering where we put the flat screen TV. We need to figure out how to make people more interested in your house. We need to do a price improvement between thirty to forty thousand dollars. Would you want to even go lower, wouldn't you? I do, but I just didn't want you to be like all of a sudden we drop so much. But I understand you need to go really quickly. So pricing it right definitely helps you sell the house. Let's say for another two weeks we make it to this price and it doesn't go, then we'll come back and have another conversation and go to the next price range. Okay. And I think with that number, we should get some more buyer coming through. All right, well, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Today's the open house at Fairfield Drive. We're really anxious to hear what the realtors think. Asking for this house is 2,949,000. Builders are a little bit nervous, as always. You know, it's it's hard to put your masterpiece out there and let people critique it. Oh, it is so red, white, and blue. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Once in a while, we'll stop by on the first day. 
We want to see reactions, sort of, behind the stage. <laughs> you lose hair. <laughs> and you wait. You wait for, for the right time, for the right buyer. Here's our first realtor. I have buyers for houses like this. At this moment, I'm not showing buyers at this level. This room could be considered an adequate size. As I look around, though, I'm wondering where we put the flat screen TV, unless they... Maggie said, in her mind, the right number is 2495. That was what Maggie said. Let her build and it. Okay. <laughs> you asked me what she said, so I'm telling you. With the Realtor Open House, you have expectations that Realtor A, B, C, or D is going to make it. And if you see that they're not coming, they're getting stressed out, but also at the beginning of an open house, when you're serving lunch, you're going to have fewer people arrive. Most people come after noon. They're very stressed out. Rob hasn't said they're hello to me yet. stressed out. So? Oh, it's like the procession. I feel like I'm in like a... Oh, you're leaving? <laughs> He's all done. I'm gonna go. Before have a nice leave, day. Leave without me. Oh my God, don't let them leave without you. I know, really. <laughs> don't run any faster or anything. Uh, yeah, oh. working on it. See ya. He's screaming, sell the house. They are very stressed out. They're very nervous. This is the culmination of many months of work, and they were nervous that there weren't enough people coming through the open house, that they might not be saying the right things, so they're nervous. I have some inspiration for you. Great for the house that's going to be built. Take right. a look at them. Okay, let's do that. I respect Roberta's knowledge in the marketplace. She sees a lot more houses. She knows what's selling. She has a great sense of style and taste. And I need that feedback. You don't want to just design in a vacuum. I like to have feedback and know where it's going. And she's ultimately got to sell it. She can lead me in the right direction, knowing more of what's in the marketplace than I do. I started with some kitchen ideas. This is a pretty generic white kitchen, but it's very popular. Mm -hmm. And then we have the other option, which is to go darker. Right. With a more French or country look. Well, you know, as it plays as an open kitchen, do you think uh, you need to have a look that looks more like furniture? Or in this case, obviously, just a very clean, utilitarian type kitchen. This is going to be the balance you're going to have to find. Right. So that's something to be decided. Right. She definitely needs somebody who is going to be able to say, you know, this works, this doesn't work. So I'm going to play that role, which is fun for me because my artistic side is always imprisoned and trying to get out. But also, I think she knows that other agents are going to know that they're in good hands when they work with us. If you'd like, you can sign and uh, we can go and put the sign out in your yard as well. All right. Let's go get it started. Hello. Hi, Charlie. How are you doing? Sign says sell this house. Hi. Come in. Rob and Tony just left. They have crazy eyes together. They're like, oh my God, there's not enough people here. Do you think this is enough people? You know, next time can we have clowns and balloons? And I'm like, this is not carnival. So they left. They just got too nervous. They, I said, I know you're nervous because you're not seeing the, the droves of people come in. I said, but we have a late lunch. We're offering till 1.30. And there's 14 houses to see. So they're going to go see other things and end up here. Beautiful. Right now, we have a crazy group of people in here who, generally speaking, if anyone's going to sell one of these big houses, it's going to be one of these ladies here. I think the price of this is pretty good. Well priced. Thank God. I think this house is, is dynamite. I love it. I do have a potential buyer for this particular house. I think it was a successful open house. I think we accomplished exactly what we needed to to get as many realtors in as possible and get them excited about the house to create a buzz. And that's exactly what I think we did. Can Jody and Joanna come up with a last-minute plan before they lose the deal? I think that they've said in no uncertain terms that they don't want to negotiate. Week we had a pricing improvement with Jackie. I went over to her house and I showed all the comps. You know, number don't lie. And so we did a price improvement. 
And with the open house, we actually have more people coming through it because people understand the price, they can get more for the money. I like the house. They like yeah. the house. Yeah, like the... More for, for the price. Yeah. I'm going to call Jackie to give her an update to let her know what happened since the price improvement. Hi, this is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. How are you doing? I'm good, Simon. And you? Good, good. I uh, just want to give you a call since uh, a price improvement. OK. We are getting some more activities, and there was uh, one couple possibly was interested. So I'm following up with them and to see what where they're going and if they'd like to put off on the property or not. All right. How are you th feeling? Got my fingers crossed. Yeah, me too. My fingers crossed with you. So um, as soon as I hear something with them, I'll definitely let you know, OK? And if anything changes, also let me know. OK, thank you. OK, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. We just got a call after a long, drawn-out process that we're going to hear an offer this evening on Fairfield. Who do we call first? We got to do it at the same time. You got to call Rob, and I will call Stan, and then Tony's going last because I can't oh. even. The realtor whose clients would like to make an offer on the house are going to present the offer to our builders. We have to call three different, different people partners. at the same time, and they all get pissed off if they don't get called first. Hi, you've reached Rob Singer. Please nice. leave a brief message, and I'll be glad to get back to you. Thank you. Rob, it's Joanna. Call me immediately. Hello? Is Stan around? Uh, no, no, she's not here. OK, thanks. OK, texted Rob. I think the seven exclamation points might mean that it's important. Yes. Tony. I need one, two, or three of you in my office at 6 o'clock to hear an offer from Diane White. Um, get Stan. I just left. I'm, I'm trying to get back. Stan. He didn't call me back, so I'm telling you I need one of you. If you can get him first, whatever. But somebody's got to be in my office. Unless you don't want the offer. We could do it tomorrow. Somebody will be in your office at 6 o'clock. I had a feeling. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate uh, this business, especially because it's so creative, you know, and it's going to be fun to work with you. Just wrapped up with Roberta. 